I wanted to be something that no one else was. And uh, yeah, I've had you know a lot of people say, well, you got great potential, but you know the only one that's going to do it is me, and I know that, and that's why I just got to focus on higher things. That's all. Been training about six months or so, and uh, you know Chris is like, oh, I'll put him on some sort of regimen where I could follow some sort of eating because I had no idea how to eat, I had no idea how really how to train. So we stayed in touch a little bit, and six months later he came back, and I think Chris will tell you himself. He took a look at me and said, "Holy shit, this kid's gonna be Mr. Olympia." Uh, it takes a lot of time, but I'm dedicated, and uh, it's brought me quite a bit of attention so far, anyway. A lot of people tried to put me down and saying I couldn't do what I what I achieved. But really, if you believe in your heart and you really you feel that it's a passion, that's something you want to do. If I would suggest making it a lifestyle, staying committed to it, fighting through the goods and the bads. I mean, listen, the bad times always are better for the good times. I, I believe that you have to fail in order to to succeed. And every time I lost, it seems like I came back stronger. Sometimes we need to get knocked down before we get back up. achieve anything you want. Don't let anyone tell you that you can. I want to see change in my physique that people say that can't happen. I've always been against the odds. There's not one day that I wake up even now that I don't look at myself in the mirror and say, am I ready to step it up to the next level? Go to bed every night and say, am I fulfilling the task of being the best at what I do? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The 2006 Mr. Olympia, Jay Cooper! win that title and take it from Ronnie and it only took him two years to give it back. No one in the history of this Sandy contest has ever Sandy. lost the contest, has lost the title and come back and reclaimed the Sandow Trophy and that's what Jay's trying to do. Sometimes we need to get knocked down before we get back up. Look at his conditioning, his glutes, his hamstrings, his lower back. He looks phenomenal. I mean, look at the striations and the detail in his legs. I wouldn't doubt that this is the best Jay Cutler who's ever stepped on stage. Jay Cutler! everything that I ever dreamed about being and I'm proof that any dreams can come true through hard work and determination and commitment and perseverance. <laughs>